Hello, JNM here with the next part of FPS games with Blender and Unreal Engine. Today we are weight painting the low poly hands. So let's get started here in the pose mode. In the previous part we identified a problem with the weights when I rotate this bone. You see that the area around the hand is affected too much. For this finger it's alright, but we have to fix it for this one and the solution is weight painting. So go to object mode, select the armature first and then press shift and select the hand model as well. Like that and then I go here to the weight paint mode. In this mode you can see which parts of the mesh are affected by the transformations of the bones, like rotations or moving the bones around. And the more red an area is, the more it is affected by the transformation of a particular bone. And you can select the bone by pressing the control key and then left click and then you see the kind of heat map of the affected area. So for the finger bones this heat map seems to be alright, but not for the bones here at the knuckles. What you can do now is to paint weight onto the mesh for the selected bone. When I increase this, let's say here to 1 and paint onto the mesh, I increase the effect that a transformation has on this area that I'm painting. But when I set the weight to, let's say, 0, I can paint it away, I subtract the weight. And this is what I want to do here for the bones at the knuckles, but basically I would have to do this for every single bone. Select it, paint to subtract the weight, the next bone and so on. For 8 fingers, very boring, very error prone, but you find a nice feature here in the toolbar options, which is called multi paint. I select it and then we can select multiple bones by pressing the shift key. But again we would have to paint the weight to each hand, even if I select all the bones here. But there's another feature for weight painting and this is symmetry. I select it for the x-axis and then I paint onto one hand and get the same weight also for the hand on the right side. Paint onto the whole hand, even if you don't see this now that there is any weight applied because we have multiple bones selected. Then I rotate the view to the other side so that we can paint away the weight from the inside of the hands. Ok, nice, now let's test it. I have this bone here selected, I press Ctrl and the R key and press X to constrain and then I rotate the finger. And now you see the area at the hand isn't bent anymore and this is the effect that I was going for. Ok, the bones for the thumb seems to be alright, I don't have to add or subtract any weight for these. So we can continue with the next part and this is adding rotation constraints for the fingers. I go to object mode so that I can select the armature only. Then I switch to the pose mode because here we can define rotation constraints. What I want to do is to rotate the first bone of a finger and the child bones should be affected. This helps a lot when animating the hand, you will see this in a moment. So what I do is to select the bone in the middle first, then the bone at the end with the shift key pressed and now press Ctrl, Shift and C. From the transform I select copy, rotation and this adds a copy rotation constraint. You can see this here in the bone constraints tab. And what we have to change here is the space of the target and the owner. We have to set both to local space. Ok, now do the exact same thing with this bone and the bone in the middle. Add the copy rotation constraint and set the space to local space. And now have a look what I can do with this index finger. I can select this bone, press Ctrl and R followed by X and then we can rotate the whole finger like this. For the thumb bone I don't add rotation constraints because in my opinion it needs a bit more freedom of movement. You rotate it in various directions, it is just different than the fingers. Also for the hand bone I don't change anything, 
the weight is here applied in a very natural way. So the only thing we have to do now, very boring, is to define the copy rotation constraint for every finger. But I speed this up a bit, I think you get the idea. Okay, the left hand is completed, now we can select all the bones here, press Ctrl and R followed by X and do these nice rotations for all fingers at once. Alright, I also completed the other hand, so they are fully rigged and we can create animations. And this is what we are going to do in the next part, creating animations and bring them into Unreal Engine. So stay tuned, I hope you like the tutorial. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, support me as my patron or join as a member. And I'll see you in the next one.